Well, after months of blaming everybody but the man on the grassy knoll for high gas prices, Joe Biden today announced his plan to do something about it. Now, he's going to uh, have a suspension of the federal gas tax. He's urging states to follow suit regarding their gas tax. He's urging oil and gas producers to produce more after telling them that he was going to shut down their industry. All of this President Biden just announced hours ago. Today I'm calling for a federal gas tax holiday state gas tax holiday for the equivalent relief to customers. Oil companies to use their profits to increase refining capacity rather than buy back their own stock. Gas stations to pass along the decree, uh, excuse me, uh, the, uh, not the decree, but the decrease in oil prices to lower prices at the pump. And together, these actions could help drop the price at the pump by up to $1 a gallon or more. It doesn't reduce all the pain, but it would be a big help. I'm doing my part. I want the Congress, the states, and the industry to do their part as well. I want the Congress, the states, and the industry to do their part as well. It's the same industry he promised to destroy. And let's remember how we got here. Putin invaded Ukraine. Putin invaded Ukraine. And in case you missed it, Putin invaded Ukraine. Chairman Powell of the Federal Reserve had a thing or two to say about whether or not the inflation uh, is because of Putin. But we'll get to that in just a second. With 100,000 forces. Just look at the facts. Since the start of the war in Ukraine this year, gas prices have risen by almost $2 a gallon in the United States and sometimes more around the world. Now, uh, as I was watching this, I had it on Fox. And then as I often do, I switch it over to CNN to find out about their post analysis of this, uh, of this speech. And even they said it was nonsense to blame all of this on Putin. Again, let's remember Joe Biden, when he campaigned in 2019, promised to phase out fossil fuels. Are you ready to commit to the responsible phase out of fossil fuel production as part of your yes. administration? Well, look, we gotta go to zero emissions, man. Zero emissions, man. Yeah. Zero emissions, man. And keep listening for the Four Tops music in the background. Levi Stubbs, leader of Four Tops, one of my favorite singers. And, 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 and we can. It's within our wheelhouse. And the answer is yes. The answer is yes. And, 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 and so that means the responsible phase out of fossil fuel production so, in this country? Yeah, have, you, have you had a chance to see my plan? I have. Take and, a look at and it. And I really appreciate that. And we want to get you higher up there. By the way, only 15% of the pollution we produce. We got it somebody who leads the damn world. We'll get everybody back to the game. Well, sir, that's a, that's a fantastic and that's point. what I can do better than anybody. And are you ready to, are you ready to ban fossil fuel exports as part of your administration? Yes, absolutely. But we got to phase it. We can't, we gotta, anyway, we ought to, we ought to call my office. All right, thank you. Are you going to end fossil fuels? Yes, yes. Got to phase it. He was more definitive here. Watch this. I guarantee you. I guarantee you we're going to end fossil fuel and I am not going to cooperate with you, okay? Now he's urging the same people he promised to run out of business to increase productivity. A little inconsistent, doesn't it? And now it's not just the Putin inflation, it's the Putin tax hike. Watch this. Uh, dealing with what the Americans are, are facing at the pump, which is high, 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 uh, high prices due to inflation, due to uh, the part of it is the pandemic, part of it is uh, Putin's war uh, on Ukraine and the Putin's uh, tax hike. The Putin tax hike. That's a new one. It was Putin inflation. Now it's the Putin tax hike. As to whether or not this is all because of Putin, here's what the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, testified just hours ago. I realize there are a number of factors that play a role in the historic inflation that we're experiencing. Uh, supply chain disruptions, regulations that constrain supply. We've got rising inflation expectations and excessive fiscal spending. But the problem hasn't sprung out of nowhere. And in January of 2021, inflation was at 1.4 percent. By December of 2021, it had risen to 7 percent, a five-fold increase. Now, since the war in Ukraine began in late February, the rate of inflation has risen incrementally, another 1.6 percent, to a current level of 8.6 percent. So again, uh, from 7 percent to 8.6 percent. Given how inflation has escalated over the past 18 months, would you say that the war in Ukraine is the primary driver of inflation in America? No, inflation was high before, certainly before the uh, war in Ukraine broke out. Oops! Fed Chair Jerome Powell. No, 
Inflation was already high before the war broke out. Would you consider it to be the primary driver? No! What did, what did, what did uh, Biden just say? Putin invaded Ukraine. Putin invaded Ukraine. And by the way, Putin invaded Ukraine. Regarding suspending the gas tax, a senator in 2008, I don't know if you ever heard of him, called it a gimmick. I know that we're having a debate right now about the gas tax holiday. I know how brutal this is on folks right now. And I know they need relief, which is why I've offered a middle class tax cut for every American, $1,000 for working families so that they can deal not only with rising gas prices, but rising health care costs and rising grocery costs. But for us to suggest that 30 cents a day for three months is real relief, that that's a real energy policy, means that we are not tackling the problem that has to be tackled. We are offering gimmicks. When we're offering the same thing that John McCain's offering on the cheap, that means we're not presenting a truthful response to the challenges that we face in America. We can do better than that this time. We've got to take advantage. America's looking for the truth. That's why I'm running for president of the United States of America. That would have been U.S. Senator from Illinois, Barack Obama, referring to a gas tax holiday as, as, as a gimmick. Now, the Biden administration loves talking about root causes. How about we talk about root causes? We need more supply. And when you run threatening to shut down the fossil fuel industry, that does not increase supply. When you run saying we're going to transition from fossil fuel based economy to a clean based economy, that does not increase supply. When you sign an executive order the first day you're in office, denying permits on federal lands, that does not increase supply. When on your first day you shut down Keystone Pipeline, that does not increase supply. When you shut down the East Med Pipeline that would have built a pipeline for natural gas from Israel to, the, to Europe, that does not increase supply. And now you've demonized oil and gas producers, call them greedy, say they're profiteering, and now you've asked them to increase supply. Is anything wrong with this picture? And Biden has the nerve to say, oh, these dastardly Republicans, they're saying I want to shut down oil production. It's not true, he says. You don't have oil to drill and to bring up. It's simply not true. This piece of the Republicans talking about Biden shut down feels wrong. 9,000 of them, okay? This is why... Don Lamont suggested maybe, just maybe, Joe Biden might not have the mental capacity to continue, which raises the issue of Kamala Harris, which we're going to come to in a second. But here to remind you of what Don Lamont said to the press secretary about Joe Biden's mental fitness. Does the president have the stamina, physically and mentally, do you think, to continue on even after 2024? Don, you're asking me this question. Oh, my gosh. He's the president of the United States. You know, it, he I can't even keep up with it. We just got back from New Mexico. We just got back um, from California. Uh, that is uh, I, 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 that is not a question that we should be even asking. Just look at the work that he does and look what he's how he's delivering uh, for the American public. Look Look, that, what, that, 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 that is just not something we ought to be even talking about. Now, if Joe Biden is not mentally fit to hold office, that means Kamala Harris might likely be the standard bearer. Hope you enjoyed that video. The full show is available to watch right now on Epoch TV. Just click the link in the description below to learn more because we've got a country to save.